guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 11 and 12 of season 2 of Squid Girls. It's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, see, it makes you wonder because we, we're at the last two episodes of this show, but I still got to watch the OVAs, and I'm wondering how many OVAs there's going to be. That's not going to work on him. Oh. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you got to pretend. Sane, it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, that art style. I love it. Like, she really thinks hypnosis is going to work on Inca. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because Alex did. <laughs> Please. <laughs> But see, hold on, she doesn't open her eyes like that. No, because she's getting bored. Mm hmm Ha <laughs> 
Watch it actually work for Inca, though. No, it, it might work. Oh. We know that. I don't talk to It's not going to affect her because she doesn't open her eyes. Yeah, no. Plus, also, it's cracked as well. Are you fu- Unfortunately, yes. Uh, of course, he's back. Oh, God. And he's going to meet the three stooges. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I don't think so, because she isn't here. Oh. That's really gross. I should look cute with her hair like that, though. No! Three Stooges.
Do we need the missile? So basically, this is a Mark II because Mark I gets took out the missile. <laughs> It really is. Yeah. What? Hold on. Why does the other one's ink look like freaking tire oil? <laughs> oh my god! Or just oil in general? They cheat and, of course. Hey, that's an automatic forfeit in my opinion. You know it's fake. I, I mean, but still, I got you. There you go.
Well, yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Ew. But somebody's going to like that, though. It's going to be good. Exactly. Never thought putting mayonnaise and curry together. You know he's going to be fine with that, right? Yeah. Salt and pepper, babe. It's just you and her today. <laughs> yeah, you sure you don't want any? Oh, would I look good?
<laughs> what are you talking about? It feels like you almost don't really have time for her. Aww. Girl, you about to get your ass whooped. <laughs> okay. I do like the fact that, you know, we got a little connection kind of with Chizuru and Ika because, yeah, she's right. I mean, you know, she always spends time with either Echo or Take, so it, it always felt like, even when I was watching season one all the way up to now, where I'm like, dang, she doesn't really spend a lot of time with Chizuru. But, yeah, I mean, I get it because she's hell of afraid of her. I would be, too. If I had, you know, fucked up my relationship with her. But, I mean, hey, you know, this is a start of something new. A new beautiful friendship, kind of, even though we only really got one episode left and how many other OVAs I got to do. Which I'm probably going to go ahead and look up before I watch the next episode. But, yeah, I thought it was sweet. The, you know, <laughs> the rival restaurant owner <laughs> and the three stooges. What the fuck was that? Then the fucking hypnosis. Oh my god. And Sane thinking like, yes, I can really hypnotize the shit out of ink. <laughs> sure, baby. Sure. <laughs> I can't. Oh god. Precious baby girl. I cannot believe we're literally, like, so freaking close to being done with this. I mean, it feels like just yesterday I started this, and now- Oh, damn, Nagisa, what the hell? Oh, she's finally going to a festival! Yay! Oh, but it's gonna rain. Oh, God. You, you would leave, like, the saddest moments to happen in the last episode of the series- because I'm guessing something really, really bad is going to happen. So it's going to be very similar to kind of season one. Um, season one's ending, but maybe not really because who knows what the hell is going to happen. But I think even when we get to the last episode of this, plus the OVAs, because the OVAs are really just what I like to call filler episodes of stuff, but just like extra things like, oh, hey, here's other things she was doing that we didn't really get to see because of this is that and the third, because probably usually by the time the show ends, they're like, oh, hey, we have more ideas for this character. So let's get, you know, let's do a little bit more with her. And because I think at the time when this show did come out, she was such a fucking popular ass character that even in modern day times as of today, this girl is still referenced in so many other animes that I've seen. Like, bruh, I <laughs> But I love it, though. I mean, I'm really excited to see what's going to really happen in this. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm hungry. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Go lay down. So we're charting over all over again, baby. I mean, we all knew that. Oh, damn. We gotta be in an alternate reality or a dream sequence. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, she about to kill it. Damn. Nah, she just really good at refocus. Not the baby! You right about that. I mean, but hold up. Is Chizuru ever really away from work? You just gonna get your ass beat again. Of course, you would be distracted. Oh, damn.
Ah, uh, yes, Three Stooges. How you doing? She lost. Oh. Nah, you know, talking to you, that might not happen like that. Yep, even if you don't like each other, you gotta work together. Bullshit. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. 
Oh my god. You're both being stubborn. Oh my god, you two just fucking kiss and make up. No. <sighs> Cotton candy. <laughs> I love how she's trying to have these quote unquote inner monologues. <laughs> oh, poor baby. You said she's cute three times, Sonny. gonna break. Lord, she powering up. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, but I don't think the goldfish are going to do well in, you know, salt water. Heck, I don't think they would even do good in that water. Echo. Uh oh. No, that, I think that's just a bag. Because you care about her. Oh, baby. But at least you're okay. Come on. Yeah, basically.
That was cute. Oh my god. Like, oh. The, the fact is that, yeah, for the second half of this episode, like, these two argued. And I mean, they're, the relationship of Inca and Echo it is really a sweet one. Especially when, you know, you know, you go to Chibi Inca and... Who's the first person we met with Chibi Inca? Eiko. So you knew that those two were going to have like a really interesting bond, Sane. A really interesting bond by the end of the series. But going on to my th my final thoughts. This series was really, really good. I'm happy that I finally watched this because this was one of those shows that like I did hear a lot of good things about. But because I watch so many other things and never really had time to either sit down and watch it myself or to really, you know, make a reaction of it. I was like, I don't think I'm ever really going to have the time or the day to really do this. So yeah, thanks to the one person who, you know, as a Patreon, requested this show because I felt like, you know, people always think like, yeah, has Khadija watched this? Has Queen watched this? Let me ask her. And they're like, oh no, you haven't seen this? Watch this. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'm really excited still to see how the final three OVAs are going to go because I found out it's three, not two. Um, and of course, it was sweet. I feel bad that, you know, yes, yeah, she broke the sandal and everything because, of course, like, it's still precious to Echo at the end of the day, but... They made up last night, and the next day, they're already fighting again. <laughs> I have no other comment to say about that. But yes, I really, truly enjoyed this show a lot. I'm sad that, you know, hey, it is over, but like I said, we do have three more episodes for the OVA, which I am going to do in all one part and stuff to... Conti con to really not continuously to officially end this series so that you know officially by next week when I do have this come out um I can officially start on my next Patreon show and such or I might take a little break after um the the last three episodes that I have to do and then after that but still have another show come out and then officially a week later then resume on that I'm not really sure yet because I'm still deciding but, I mean, I will miss these characters a lot. I mean, I know they'll be referenced in so many other animes and such. Um, I don't know if, like, manga-wise, if, like, the person also finished the manga, the creator of it, or if he or she is continuously doing something for this, or there's still stuff going on. Because, like, you know, like, okay, think about this. Like, you know how, like, with animes that get really, really popular and people end up celebrating, like, the milestones for it. So, like, for an example, k celebrated its 10th anniversary when I officially started reacting to that show and how nuts that show was for a lot of people and how a lot of people said that that anime, like, changed everything for them and that was something that, you know, as some people have said, oh, that was the anime that got me into anime or this was an anime that made me really, really, truly love anime as a whole and such. Um... So I'm guessing, like, this has to celebrate, like, a milestone, so it could be, like, the 10th or the 20th, or hell, even the 15th year, because I don't know how long it's been since the show's come out. Um, if they ever have, like, new merch or anything, oh, hell yeah, I buy it in a nutshell, because I do truly love these characters. Do I think I'm probably gonna buy the series on Blu-ray and DVD? Yes, if I know myself, because, like, sometimes what I like to do with some series that I really love, um, I end up buying, like, something to commemorate, like, that as a series and because I loved it so much like hell I'm still over here trying to get something for Monogatari something for Symphogear um we can put this series as well and a couple of others like even flip flappers and everything because I still want that series on DVD and such so that I can have it because I just want my library to grow <laughs> of anime but yes I will truly miss this um I'm sad but at the same time I'm happy very, very happy that I got the chance to watch this with you guys every single week and such. And I'm really excited to see, once again, how the OVAs are gonna, really going to go. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 11 and 12 of season 2 of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for Patreons. 
and next Wednesday for everybody else for the final three OVA episodes to see whatever in the world Inca and the rest of the crew are going to do for three episodes. And then after that, we will officially be done with this series and we will be, blah, 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 and we will be moving on to my next series, which I, all I will say is it starts with a J. It, you know, yeah, I can't say anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It starts with a J. If you know, you know. Patreons already know, of course. But uh, everyone else, you will find out after a week or two after the OVA. I think probably by the time I watch the OVA episodes of this, that's probably when I'll give you the answer of, oh, hey, I'm going to wait a week or I'm not. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.